Well, it seems Labor MPs across Australia are getting nervous as support for The Voice and for the PM drops to its lowest levels since the election. Graham Perrett, the federal member for Morton, says he's yielded more of a no than a yes response from voters. He says the yes campaign has a lot of explaining and groundwork to do, and he'll join me on the show tomorrow night, so tune in for that. The Financial Review, meanwhile, has revealed that only 10% of Australians think the voice to Parliament is the issue they want the government to focus on. Let's bring in now my terrific Tuesday panel, Sky News hosts Paul Murray and Liz Stora. Howdy. Great Hello. to see you both. Uh, Paul, look, when there's reports in the paper that Labor MPs are getting the jitters about the voice, something's going wrong here. Well, surprise, surprise, the real world is not the set of insiders. The real world is not the corridors of Canberra. Surprise, surprise, the real world has had to put up with the best part of, uh, you know, a dozen interest rate rises. Yeah. Everything has got worse, as I say every night. Their central promise at an election, their core, not non-core promise was cost of living will be dealt with. It's not. They're tinkering, they're fiddling around the edges. There are things governments can control and not control, but they set an expectation. Mm. They're failing their own expectation. And as for the voice, they can try as much as they want to be clever with the language. And you will have noticed that we've gone from uh, the overt conversation about the voice to now, well, we fully support the recognition of Indigenous people, as if that's the only thing in it. Mm, yes. But also, at the heart, the reason people won't buy this is because at a time when trust in government, trust in institutions always goes down, they are saying, give us a blank cheque for a new thing in the Constitution mm -hmm. which will work out the details after the campaign. Normal people see that for what it is and they don't want it. Yeah, they want to know... And when people say the detail, they want to know exactly which public policy areas this will apply to. Mm. They want to know who's going to sit on the body. Is it going to be, you know, one of those... How much? How long? Who? Yeah. How are they the picked? And picked yeah. by but, who? That's a very important one. But, Liz, clearly the Prime Minister is hurting, his popularity is falling, because he's not focusing on this, this, you know, list of issues that people are telling the Financial Review they care about. Cost of living, hospitals, healthcare, housing, and instead, you know... The, the, the government seems to want to talk about, or at least the conversation, especially in, at the ABC, is about The Voice. Yeah, and Albo's staked everything on this. Goodness knows what will happen to him if it doesn't get up. But that same poll by JW Research, that 75% of the people they polled, they want attention paid on cost of living. Naturally, it's very hard mm. to get people who are just trying to pay a mortgage that just six months ago cost thousands less per month to care about your legacy, change the constitution, and especially when you've still not given us a single explanation how this will have a material impact on yeah. the lives of Indigenous Australians. People want answers. They're not getting it. Obviously, it's too soon to count our chickens. The Yes campaign is just getting revved up officially, although I would say they've already overplayed their hand and that's part of what we're seeing play out in these polls with the failing popularity. Mm. People are sick of being preached at. They're sick of being told why this is so important at a time when, for them personally, they've got ten other things that are far more important. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the issue, that, that, that this is happening in the middle of a deep cost-of-living crisis. That, mm. that's, that's part of the problem.